All right, well, it should be good now. Should say the Twin Gods and NHL fucking 17. Yeah, I had to I had to change again for some reason I refreshed. Oh god. Should say the Twin Gods. Here we go. Okay, all right. So we got that set. I think we're all good. Yeah, there we go. Now it's set. Now it's right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Hendricks here to be depth slash he's gonna be good now. I love this guy's defensive stats. Like it's so filthy. I'm so glad that this guy's actually getting good. And at 22, I don't even actually mind if he if he caps out at third line because he's just really good. I mean, he might still get good, which would be okay for a second liner because obviously Drysaddle is gonna leave eventually. And then we should have a uh, Wiss coming up, and we should be solid. All right, so I think the lines are all good. Ob, oh, it looks like Ob got better, 85. It could be a lot of, I, I don't know. It does not, I'm not seeing arrows, so looking like Ob may be getting better. So that's good news for us. It'd be great news if Ob is indeed getting better. All right, got to make sure I see everything here. Cool. Ob likes Connor. <laughs> Who doesn't like Connor? Oh, he's got the best chemistry with Connor. <laughs> Who doesn't, though, to be honest, man? You love a guy like that in the locker room. All right, so, gobble, gobble. I think we're all set here. We could basically check out their lines. I don't want need to change anything else. AHL's, holy crap, Leech. Leech is now listed to be depth, too. Pretty sure he was not listed to be uh, <laughs> depth the whole time. So that's interesting, because he must have just changed, in which case... I don't necessarily need to bring him up because he just changed. And he's still only 21. And I kind of want him with Postma, to be honest, in the playoffs. Yeah, I really want... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So I think we just get into the simming now. God damn, our team is so good. Like, it's not good... Like, You know what I mean? Like, it, Our team is going to be so fucking good in like a, two, a year or two. Like, even better than it is. Sure, we're going to have some guys leaving, but uh, the guys fill in their spots, man. I can't wait. First things first, though, before I actually... Uh, voice crack. Before I actually start the playoffs here, let me check the... Uh, I don't know if I checked the progress reports before I got off last night, but if I didn't, let me refresh my own memory. I want to check on Wiss, mostly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, Ob... <laughs> Like, Ob loves Connor, but then Connor fucking hates the guy. <laughs> That's, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, it looks like uh, Ob is definitely growing, even more than he did, because he, he came here with, like, plus 16 in that green, but now he's got plus 20, so it's good that he's still growing. He also got 83 games played because he's OP. Hendricks, look at that. We moved him up. To, ooh, yeah, he started growing a bit. Knubel, same thing. Anyone else here? Not quite. In the system. X will be. This guy keeps growing. He's not even anywhere right now. But fine. Keep growing. Um, I'm waiting for. I want to find. Uh, okay. McLeod is growing as well. And that's good news. Because. <laughs> he's great too. Leech was growing. Yep. This McKinnon guy was growing. Old chick. Good. Ouellette. Good. Nightingale is good. Postma, yep. Where is uh, where's the guy I'm looking for? Where's the droid I'm looking? There he is. 80 overall. <laughs> Listen, 80 overall now. And he, and he did get the green growth too, so he must be killing it in the juniors. No, yeah, Postma definitely not NHL ready. Let me try to scoot this screen next to me because I have I shifted the browser so that I could see the uh. Oh, I don't even have to do that. Well. No, I don't. Oh, God, I'm an idiot this whole time. <laughs> there we go. Now I can see it better. All right. <laughs> I'm working off like I have such a weird setup in here. I, guess, I wish you guys could see it. I have like three screens right now. Not all of them on, but it's, it looks hilarious. I got my TV and then next to it's my computer monitor. And then below that's my laptop because <laughs> that's my PC monitor. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. But yeah, Wiss is good. Yakupov, Crowen, still only 62. But let me check on Wiss real quick to see if he, he changed, like, uh, anything. Like, 
roles basically if he's not listed to be like depth or even i don't even think i would bring him up if he got listed as anything i kind of want to give us a chance here to uh get some w's in the playoffs and wiss maybe not might not be quite ready we drafted him heavy but we're trying to bring him along a bit slower and maybe we should have brought him up but you know roster we had some guys in those roles already let's see see if i could just find him here see what he's listed as not oh he has listed to be depth now so that's tricky, because he's listed to be depth. Hmm. The thing is, man, I could play him on the wing. I could play the guy on the wing. Huh. I could play him on the wing and sit that other guy who's on the fourth line right wing. Problem is, man, that's fourth line NHL where he could when he could be maybe killing it in the in the CHL. You know, maybe playoffs for the CHL. I don't know. It, it's tough to call. Like, sure, he's listed to be depth now. He wasn't before, but yeah, it's it's tough to call in that situation because there is a guy I could take off. It's that guy on the right wing side, but then this guy doesn't play in his natural position. Maybe he doesn't get as many points. He already has 74 points, so who knows, but I don't know. Yeah, leave Wiss. I agree because I don't think it benefits him to play on the fourth line as much as maybe where he is now. So yeah, old chick, same thing. He's he's now minor top four. We can't play him, obviously, because he's junior. Even though he's American, he is a junior. Yeah, I think I'll just leave him. It's for the playoffs, that's not a time to bring the dudes up, in my opinion. So yeah, we're gonna keep we're just gonna keep rolling here. Uh, all right stretch it out let's see what the lightning have to offer we had a nice little 50 win season uh yes sim that okay i want to see what this team's got now because obviously certain people are gone and we'll have to see so <laughs> well, that's their team. Radish, Strom, Kucherov is still good, obviously. But they're falling off. Druin's still decent. Carlson, nah. And this Rodney Blake, looking like he's breaking out a bit from that role. Should be a decent second liner of the future. This Kachuk guy, this Peters guy, he's not going to be much. Ernie, nah. LaPierre, Lemieux, Martinook. It's like an older team, and they're not even that good. <laughs> uh, defensively, Hedman declining. Severson, okay. Minulin, Cernak, like, what is this team? They're, like, in all in their prime, but they're not that great by the looks of it. But there's Vasilevsky. There's your makeup. Oh, and they have another goalie coming up. So, at least they're going to have good goalies. I'm not too sure what else they have in this system. But, uh, <laughs> I know. It's the EHE's team. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's like, they fucking got the stupidest, like, setup. I'd put Carlson down there if I was them, you know. Put, at least put Lemieux up. Uh, well, his offensive stats are worse. I don't even know what's going on. It's such a silly... Silly... <laughs> Midland looks like a fetus? What? <laughs> he does look fucking, like, 10 years old. <laughs> fetus. Okay. All right. So there's their... Uh... There's their team right there. Let's see what we what'll happen. Let's see if the cheese is gonna bite us or if we get the better of these guys. Hopefully we have a good playoff run. If not, well we're still gonna have yet another big draft because we are pretty much a self sustaining force at this point. And it's fantastic. Here we go, game one, guys. Game one. Send laugh count. Yeah. Stop saying stuff funny. <laughs> Stop saying funny stuff. All right. Uh oh. Ernie scores. First shot, first goal on O'Neill. That's not the way you want to see it start off. All right. Can Boston get that back? Can Boston get that back? It's going to be tough. All right. Power play. How's our power play going to be? Can't capitalize on that one. That's okay. All right. We're getting some shots. No goals yet. Vasilevsky standing tall. They take the lead into the dressing room. One to, one to nothing. 13 shots to eight. All right. Second period. Oh, power play again. Pa Boston struggling a bit with the special teams. But there we are. Knubel. Knubel. One to one. All right. Tied it up. Third line with a big goal right there. 
Oh, oh, power play. Wait a sec. Power play. Butterball. Oh, come on. Butterball. Feed someone on that power play. All right. And we should take that tie into the dressing room. 23 shots to 19. Don't I have Tampa's first? I might. <laughs> I forgot all the stuff we have. I might have it. Okay. Third period. A tied at one. Come on, guys. I don't know if I if I yell too much if that's holy crap! 90! 90 night, baby! Two to one! Two to one lead! That was huge for Boston. That was huge. I hope I don't peek because I it's different when I'm recording because I use like a way better setup when I'm actually just recording rather than audio straight through Elgato. So we'll have to see. But hopefully it's good right now. We got the two to one league. Ah, oh, Radish, no! Ties it up late. Ah, oh, god damn it. O'Neal couldn't quite get the job done, but we did need another helper, man. He's not he's not quite that shutdown guy in the playoffs yet. This is his first postseason action. I think. Oh no, we kind of were there last year, but that didn't count. Or no, no, sorry. That's Wait, were we? I don't fucking remember. It was stupid. Okay. So tied at two. Overtime, man. Overtime. Connor, it's his time, man. <laughs> He's the clutch guy here. Let's go. Overtime. Come on, guys. Come on, Boston. We need a big goal from someone. There it is. Oh, 99. 99. Tampa. Goodbye. There we go. <laughs> All right, beautiful, beautiful, nice. That's how you do it, nighty night Tampa. Norm 90, oh, that's such a Norm 90 too. Two goals, Will O'Neal with a great performance. Pasternak, Mr. Pasta himself, the standing captain, two, two assists and a hit. So there we have it, beautiful. Uh, no, oh, that's only DeVries, but still, that kind of sucks. It's a minor concussion. You should be back pretty quick. Connor probably stepped up for him after the next shift. So good on you, Connor. Let's see. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. We'll have to check the penalty minutes. But that's a rough one because now we have to call someone up. Oh, yeah. Make more roster moves. Okay. Who can we call up that we can afford? Vetrano. <laughs> that's it. Vetrano. Yeah, Vetrano's the guy we call up, obviously. It's going to hurt our AHL, but fuck it. Vetrano comes up. Line changes. That's a rough injury in the first game, man, because that actually puts us in a kind of a tough spot. 90 can jump up, and I think we'll probably do that, but he did well on that line, it seemed like, you know? Yeah, it, it's going to hurt us because now it's like, oh, no, I have a better idea. Posternot goes up. Butterball comes up. Connor comes up. <laughs> uh, is that a good idea to put Connor up? Yeah, fuck Vetrano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are already calling for it before you can even see it. <laughs> I'm looking at where I am in the line changes. You guys are calling for it. There you go. There you have it. All right. Um, substitute in there. And a couple more lines that need to be shifted. That's a tough loss right there. But, okay. Gabo, Jones, Butterball, Nighty, Black. Who are we missing? The Fries jumped out, but who are we missing? Posternock? Yeah. No, Posternock's in there. Oh, Forsbaka Carlson. Yeah, that's right. But he's not. He's nothing. But no, we have to be missing someone else. <laughs> One, two, three. Would be that night. No, 90. No, he's on there. I don't fucking know who we're missing. <laughs> Knubel. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling Knubel too. I am feeling him. Because he's got he's got pretty damn... Eh, his, actually, his offensive stats aren't that great. He's got a nice shot. But who else really is going to go in there? Surely not this guy. Yeah, probably just going to be Knubel. Post went to the third line, and on and on and all. Knubel in there. Yeah, we'll send him in there. So that hurts us a bit, for sure. Penalty kill as well, yeah. Knubel's already on the penalty kill because he's a beast. Now he's on the penalty kill with he uh, Heiskanen, Heskinen. <sighs> Hendricks. Hendricks, yeah. Hendricks for the PK, for sure. Yeah, Hendricks can do PK. I remember that about him. And he might actually be able to take face-offs, too. Let's see. Hendricks. Yeah, Hendricks is solid. No, not Connor. We tried that. We tried Connor. That was an epic fail. He's got some better face-offs too. So him in the center. Extras. Four on four. It doesn't matter a huge amount, but I don't want to fuck that up. Butterball and probably Hendricks actually. Because when you take a look at Hendricks, his offensive stats are really strong. So I'm just going to throw him in there too. Yeah. 
throw them in there. Cool. That should do it. There we are. So rough injury right there. Yeah, now I got to edit these lines. Throw someone in. I might just sub in all lines for someone. Yeah, this guy. Screw him. Throw him in. Sub in all lines. He looks decent enough. Yep, we'll do that. Connor on the power play. Get out of here. Power play. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, so there we have it. Okay. So rough injury to start things off, but he should be back. It did say the 25th though, so that's actually quite a bit of time. I thought it'd be maybe more just a couple games, but he's almost out for the series. So we got to try to win this without DeVries, DeVries now. Yeah, he has a good, he do, he may have a good slapper, but Gobble Gobble has also a tremendous slapper and that's why he's there. Okay guys, game two though. Game two, can we win two straight on home ice? Let's go. Let's into the garden. We have a power play to start off. And Sirius Black. One to nothing for Sirius Black. What a way to start things off. Power play for them. Can we kill that good penalty kill? Oh, and only Mata from the point with a power play to follow it. Oh, can't capitalize though. What a great start here in Boston though. All right. Kachuk makes it uh, one goal game here late in the first. But we get out of the first with the lead. 16 shots to 10, 2 to 1 lead. That's a great start right there. That's a great start. Second period. Let's go. Come on, guys. Uh-oh, wait a sec. All right, good kill. Great kill right there. Now, can we bury another one? Again, I want to see. We got to get that two-goal lead rolling. We got to get that two-goal lead rolling. Another power play for them. We killed it off. Great job, penalty kill. Great job, penalty kill. All right. Uh-oh, Ernie ties it up. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, we need another goal. Tied up now at two shots, 24 to 23. This has been an insanely even series so far, guys. Insanely even. But now it's third period clutch time. Who's going to step up? Come on now. Big goal, guys. Big. Uh-oh, Vladi. That's two unanswered for Tampa. And the Bruins are on the ropes. They need to find a goal, and they need to find it quick here. Approaching the 10-minute mark. Who's going to step up? Who's going to step up? The chemistry feels off. Come on, guys. First line. Someone. Five minutes left. Come on now. Power play. Late power play. Power play. Come on. Oh, and we couldn't come through in the clutch. Ah, and that's a rough one. That's a rough one. That's a rough one to swallow. You, you have the two. You have the lead. The qu they, Three unanswered goals. Yeah, fuck. You have the two to nothing lead, but that's rough. That's rough. So good, good, good uh, game by Black, man. Like he, he tried, but they just, uh, that was great. Ernie, <laughs> Adam Ernie was apparently a God three points for him. All right. Well, that's, t eh, they get the split on our ice, but that puts us in a rough spot going back into their building. We kind of need to, we kind of want to win this first game here, you know, kind of put ourselves back on the front side of things. So let's see what will happen when we go down to the Tampa. Let's see what will happen. Connor stats and games. All right, I'll check those a bit more this next one. All right. Come on, guys. Big game right here, Boston. Big game. Ah, Roddish. Early one. One to nothing for Tampa. Oh, two to nothing for Tampa. Oh, man. Okay. Tarasov stops the bleeding. But that's a rough start. Very rough start right there for the Bruins. Come on, God. Roddish again. What's happening? This is not a good start for Boston. Get, a, get another one back. Come on, power play. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck is what that is. Three to one for them. Yuck. All right. Come on. Second period. Let's go, guy. Come on. We really need to get back into this. We need some goal scoring. Vasilevsky's too strong. But we need some goal scoring, Bruins. Come on now, Boston. Oh, geez. Okay. We killed that off. At least we're not getting enough shots. We can't get enough chances. We can't, we can't score. Come on, Boston. Where is it? There we go, Fors Baca Carlson. Finally, the first line gets it done. There we go. We got now. We're only down by one. Down by one. No, no, don't blame O'Neill, man. Don't blame O'Neill. Okay, he's uh he's working with what he's got, man. We also need to score more. He was great in the other two games. We just need to score a bit more for him. Third period tied up, guys. Come on, third period big goal. Need a big goal tied up. Come on, guys. 
Need a big tying goal here. We're playing from behind. Come on, power play. Power play. Oh, and now they have a power play right after it. Kill it off. Oh, 90. 90. The clutch goal again. 3-3 three to three ties it up. Can we get another late one, Connor? Connor, calling at you. Come on, Connor. Get the late one. No, no, no. All right, not happening. But we forced overtime. 90 night. Thank you. Thank you. Tied up here. Tied up. Okay. I don't know if that was a shorty. It might have been. I don't know. That might have been a shorty. I can't really tell. But it was close. It was close. Okay. Overtime yet again. Another big goal. Another big goal. Come on, overtime. Let's... Holy crap. Kucherov less than a fucking minute in. Welp. Ugh. All for naught right there. All for naught. God damn. That was... That was anticlimactic, to say the least. Look at that, dude. That line's killing us. Radish, Kucherov, and Strom. That killed us right there. We That's because we're missing freaking... We we're missing that big body there, man. DeVries was there for a reason. DeVries was there for a reason, dude. Ugh, down 2-1 to one in the series now. Yuck. Yuck, man. Is there anyone in the rest of the world? No, there wasn't. That's right. Okay. Keep scouting around. All right, so we're done there. No more A-minuses. We got there once done, okay? Now I'll just keep going. Connor stats. Fuck! I keep forgetting. I'll let, I keep forgetting his game stats. Oh, geez. That's that's AHL, actually. I could just go replace player right there. That's AHL. Ooh. Yes. Seven goals in two games. What do you mean? Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, but it's overtime at the same time. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> I'll check all the stats. I usually don't check the stats as I'm going, so forgive me. But yeah, I'll check. I'll have to, I guess. People are calling for it. See if we need to make some changes. Pasternak's doing great. Black's doing great. Knub wow, Knubel. Knighty's doing fantastic. And it really drops off after that. Connor's got nothing by the looks of it. Except for two fights. <laughs> Probably two fights. Yeah, poor uh, poor DeVries, too. I'll check the goalie stats. I don't think he's doing too bad. Oh, yeah, he is doing bad. Fuck me. Ouch. Yeah, you guys are... Yeah, okay. Yeah, he is tumbling. <laughs> My, yeah. Ooh, that's not the greatest sign. That isn't the greatest sign there. I'm not gonna lie. But... Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit interesting. Yeah... He is faltering. I'll give you that for sure. Oh, yeah, I didn't want that. He wasn't supposed to. He was supposed to be the good goalie. Okay. Well, time to turn. If we're going to turn it around, we got to start here. We have to get the split on their ice, man. We got to have a huge game from O'Neal. O'Neal's got to be huge. He's got to be a brick wall in this game, man. And offense has got to come through. So we need everything to click. Please kill that off, guys. Good kill. Okay. We need everything to click in this game. Come on now, Boston. Get me an early goal. Get me a goal here in the first. There you go, Knubel. One to nothing. This guy's coming up huge. Getting some big points here. All right, out of the first with the lead shots. 12 to 12. One to nothing. That's a good start. One per period, though. One per period. That's got to be our average. Come on, guys. Another one. Another goal here. Yeah, we need more offense. There we go. Power play. Couldn't, uh, couldn't capitalize. That's all right, though. Come on. All right, at least O'Neal seems to be playing better. Another power play. Another uh, another one we can't capitalize on. Out of the second shots, 21 to 26. O'Neal's doing great, but we need that now we're lacking the offense. Our lines were doing... Uh, we're missing our line combinations that we had. Okay, third period. Third period. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Boston. We need an insurance marker. Help out O'Neal back there. Insurance marker, guys. Oh, man, this is way too close. Power play insurance. Oh, we lost it, and then they're going to get some carry over time, but we kill it off. Good kill. Great kill right there. Oh, jeez. Five-minute mark, Boston. Come on, guys. Help him out. Help him out back there. Holy crap. O'Neal. Response. 35 save shutout. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. All right. That, that could have been a collapse, man. O'Neal first star. Second star, Vasilevsky. Knubel, third star. Woo. Close, man. Very close. Oh, man. 
Offense. Want to buy offense. Man. It's like... Ugh. I, I don't know. What we, we can't really shift stuff. Like, we tied up the series now. I don't feel like we could shift too much more, except maybe move Knubel up, but maybe he's succeeding because he's in that role, you know? It's always it's always tough. <laughs> you guys want me to check Connor's stats after every game? God damn it. All right, I'll... I'll I'll remember that next game. It's it's hard. Providence is up two nothing. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, let's do game five here, and I'll check. I'll try to remember to check all the personal stats after the game. All right, let's go, guys. Come on, Boston. Another big game. Another big game. We got to get more scoring though. That was not good enough. We need scoring. We need some big goals here. We need Nighty Knight to step up there. Knubel again. This guy's on fire. Holy Mata makes it two to nothing. That's a great start. No collapse though. We can't afford it. O'Neal's got to toughen up. Defense has got to toughen up for him. That's a good start. Start. Oh, and Pasternak with a late goal. Three to nothing first period. That's a huge return to the garden right there. Huge return. Okay. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up now. We're, this is a pretty dominating performance so far. But Ernie, all right, they get one back. All right, and we cannot let them creep back into this. That's got to be the only one we allow this period. Come on now, Boston. Get it back. Get it back now. Keep them off the scoreboard from here on out. Solid defense. Pucks in deep. Help out O'Neal. All right, there we go. Going to the third. Three to one. 20 more minutes to kill. 20 more minutes. Okay. Let's go, guys. 20 minutes. Help him out. Pucks in deep. Power play. Bury him. Power play. Couldn't bury him on the power play, but there's a 15-minute mark. Oh, Vetrano on the fourth line. Filling in for injury. Good on you, Vetrano. Good on you, Vetrano. Another power play. Another power play, but that should do it. There's the five-minute mark. There's still... They finally hit 20 shots there at the end of the third, but it doesn't matter. Four to one victory for Boston. There you have it. There you have it. That's the game we needed. Oh. Let me check. I'll, yeah, I'll check it before I even check the three stars because I'll just exit out of there. I know I will. All right. So Connor is a plus one, but no points Doing. still. One hit. <laughs> Any penalty minutes? No, I don't think so. I can't check. I can't really see his penalty minutes. Interesting. And whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that time. I remembered. Caleb Jones, two assists. Nice. And two hits. Olimata with a goal and Knubel with a big goal. Nice on Caleb Jones getting that first star. One hit. <laughs> Scratch him. Yeah, you should see it. his aggressiveness is like 70-something. He just fights. He doesn't hit. He just fights. That's, that's what he does. Oh, no. April 28th. That's not too long, but that sucks. That sucks, man. Ouch. Ouch. That DeVries, now this guy, fucking injury bug. Injury bug. Ugh, who do we even throw in, man? Like, <laughs> what do we even do? That's rough. I don't even have goalies, man. This is gonna, oh, all right, call up Lukanen, obviously. But now Lukanen or Vavalainen, that's the big question. Lukanen or Vavalainen. Oh, man. That is harsh. That's actually harsh. This guy's got good morale right now, so maybe throw him in. Toss in Luke in it. I don't know. Like, I'm looking at the reflexes category. It's pretty similar. But I think Luke in it might have the edge. Luke gets the start. You guys are calling it. Luke gets the start instead of Ava Linen. All right. I'd be willing to do that. Postma can play Tendi. This is rough. This is some rough injuries. Like losing a first liner and then losing a goddamn Artendi. Like really? So Pouliac can jump in there. Was he starting? <laughs> was he actually starting? <laughs> I think he was starting. Whatever. He's been doing fine. All right, Lukanen. We'll get Lukanen in here. This is rough though, man. At least we get the W there, but ugh. Oh, thank God DeVries is back. Okay, we needed that. We needed DeVries back right there. We really needed DeVries back. All right, scratch Vitrano. I know Vitrano got a goal, but he needs to be scratched. Connor down. Butterball down. Butterball down. P 
Pasternak back there. Put DeVries back in. He needs to be in there. We need that guy on that line. Sub in all lines. I'm not giving Connor an A yet, man. He doesn't. Alrighty. Um, instead, so maybe I should keep Knubel on here, you know? Are those power play goals he has or what? Okay, no, he doesn't have any power play goals, so I don't need to worry about that. If no power play goals, I'll put DeVries back on there. Do it. I think. Yeah, it's DeVries is just better offensively. He's better overall, like, for really. Yeah, he's got the better offense. You got to have DeVries in there. So there you have it. Connor back in there. I think he was on some extras as well. But in this case, I'll keep Hendricks there because Hendricks can actually take faceoffs, and he's got the same amount of offensive skills as DeVries had. So I'll do that. This is going to be rough, man. Uh, yeah, Canoe, I'm pretty sure I put Canoe on the, Jesus Christ, who's this farmer guy? I don't even know who this is. He a four, okay, a fourth liner. That's not horrible, but we're going through, we're getting a lot of injuries right here. And I don't even know if we have anyone else. Primo, red top nine, Ronick, defensive sat 76, 77, 74. The other guy was what? 76, 77, 79. Okay. Primo. There you have it. We're getting uh, riddled here. Let's see how Postma's doing while we're here. Wow! Seven points for Postma! What are you guys saying do it for? Give Connor the A. Do it. Or was that a follow? I missed a follow. <laughs> if, I, if I did, I don't even know. Too busy. Too busy checking. Okay, Postma though. Look at those stats. It's filth. Filthy. All right. So there we go. Changes are all done. Oh, Knubel wasn't on the... Oh, Will O'Neill's back. Oh, thank God. I'm just going to continue. Hold on. Continue up to there. <laughs> so he, he just, what? What was that? Should I keep him out though? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell was that? Like, really? <laughs> Why did I even have to take him out? Come on, man. I got to put him back in there. I can't just leave him out for sure though. So poor Lukanen. <laughs> Throw O'Neill in there. <laughs> I feel like I should almost keep in keep out that goalie though because Puglia is killing it like look at those stats <laughs> I'm just gonna keep him up here I think because Puliat's killing it sure if he gets yanked it'll suck but I nah, know I gotta I gotta send him back down I gotta send him back down it ain't right hope O'Neal gets injured again yeah you you would you would <laughs> kappa kappa all right, yeah, send uh, send Lukanen back down. <laughs> Poor guy, he's pissed. I'm sorry, Lukanen. I'm so sorry, but it's got it's got to be done. Just in case the other guy gets yanked. Oh shit, he jumped down to a 78. Oh, he's super pissed. Fuck me. <laughs> I maybe I should have kept him up there. I know, I know, I fucked up. I I did. I didn't think about that. I wanted. I was I was thinking about min maxing and not about morale. I fucked that up. But whatever. <laughs> yeah Pouliot will still start yeah okay he got motion sick yeah he's he's, he's the new whatever that guy's name was Pumanovs he's the new Pumanovs okay so we have a chance to end this in six right here we could end this in six or they could force a game seven on the road let's see what Boston's got in their building power play to start things off good Get capitalize it. let's see the lightning storming back giggity that's not a giggity but that's a nice little pun don't you think all right getting some shots no one's been able to bow and peters gets one on o'neill it's one to nothing for the lightning all right there you have it ah. second period let's go come on boston score a goal guys need a bear butterball there we go butterball turkey puts it home all right there we have it great goal right there power play power play can we get another one no we can't wait a sec it's tied up still we got the shot advantage but only just and out of the second tie game at one now tie game at one it's 90's turn this is where 90 comes in 90 night night 90 night time here we go Third period. Come on now, Boston. Oh, Kucherov early yet again. He keeps getting those early-ass goals. Come on now, Boston. Get that back. 
Get it back, Boston. Come on. Don't don't let Kucherov be the hero again. Don't let him be the hero again. Come on, man. Oh, late in the third. One more, guys. We need the offense and a late power play for them. We'll pretty much spell our doom here. Yep. Lemieux with the empty netter. God damn it. Fucking Kucherov. Again, only one goal for us. That's not great. We need to help him out. O'Neal did fine. That 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 time he did fine. Just no, the offense nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. And now game seven. Game seven. We got the home ice, sure, but ugh. game seven. Whew. I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. Do it. I can't really switch things up, man. Like it's. I mean, maybe I can move back for his Baca, but I think Pasternak helps out ninety like a hell of a lot. Really, he does. It just. It's almost got to be Drysaddle and Devries getting shit done. They're like the shutdown line, but it's hard to shut down Carlson. Really, oh, excuse me. So, I think I just got to kind of roll with what we got. I can't really do much. It's we're playing how we're playing the best we can with what we got. This is what we got. You know, we got to wait for a couple guys to get better. So, move Knubel for Force Baca. Really, that's. You know what? That's actually may not be a bad move because we're not even we're not banking on this guy really, really growing too much more. And if he does, that'd be fantastic. His offensive stats are pretty bad. Then again, so are these guys. Defensively, he's okay. Knubel's really good. Yeah, you know what? It could shut. Yeah, to shut down Kucherov. Good point. To maybe shut down Kucherov. Okay, I'll roll with that. I'll roll with that. Connor back to the third line. Why? It's in, we can't unless we put down Forrest Bach, but I don't want to do that, man. I can't move down Butterball. I can't move down anyone. This is this is what we got. So I'll try Knubel on that first line, and we'll see how we get. 420 blaze it views. All right. That's how we do things. Okay, guys, big game seven here. Big game seven. Let's see what the Bruins can do. Let's see what O'Neal can do. It's clutch time. Clutch time. Ooh, let's go game seven at home come on now boston we gotta get this done we gotta get this done power play to start things off can't capitalize all right oh they're getting oh man they're out shooting us like crazy power another power play come on boston can't capitalize another power play boston Ugh, that's gonna come back to bite us i really feel like that's gonna come back to bite us after the first no score shots 13 shots to 13 I don't like these no scores, man. Because I know Kucherov is going to get one eventually. We need Dryside to get one. Let's go. Second period. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Ah, big second. Come on, guys. We need a goal here. Nighty night. Someone. Pasternak. Someone. Connor. Butterball. Gobble, gobble. Power play. Come on, guys. You got a cap. Oh, my God. 0 for 4. 0 for 4. After two, zero to zero still. Shots 27 to 22. Ugh. Big third, guys. Big third. We need an explosion. We need an explosion. Come on, Boston. Come on, Boston. Come on, guys. One. Give me, start with one. Start with one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the defensive struggle continues. We're already halfway through the third. Come on, Boston. The five-minute mark. Come on. Oh, jeez. Overtime. Zero to zero shots. 41 to 29. Boston, we've, we're have we earning this right now. You got to sneak one by Vasilevsky. Bodies to the net, baby. Bodies to the net. Come on. Let's go overtime. Overtime, baby. Game seven overtime. Boston, who's got it in him? One of you guys have got it in you. I know it. I know it, Boston. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Power play. Come on, power play right now. Did they just fucking get a shorty? <sighs> they just got a fucking shorty to end it, didn't they? That's disgusting. 45 shot shutout for Vot. That's, 
That's rough, dude. That's offensive lack right there. What the fuck, man? Fuck off, Vasilevsky. Straight up, fuck off. Ugh. Tarasov, I don't care. Best lines. That's so rough. You can't do that, man. Can't do it. You gotta score. You gotta fucking score, man. That's rough. That's just so rough. Like, that's insanely rough right there. Uh, we were getting huge goals in the beginning, then our just offense disappeared. Knubel, yeah, he had the most freaking points, but what happened? 90 had three goals in the beginning. Oh, minus five? What the hell? With your defense now? Unacceptable. Dreisaitl, three assists, but that we need more out of that guy. Come on. It's Dreisaitl. Like, sure, we didn't have the greatest first line, but... All right, Connor at least got an assist at one point. <laughs> he got an assist somewhere. I don't know how he did, but he got an assist. <laughs> And he was a plus one at the end, but yeah. That's rough. I mean, Richie didn't get anything obbed. He's a minus was ob. Come on now. DeVries got nothing. Minus. Yeah, a bit of retooling needed. O'Neal did better and better and better. What what was this guy in here for? Vava Linen with a shutout out of nowhere. Really? Like, oh, that must have been, yeah, that must have been the game when O'Neal got injured. Okay, but yeah, if you look at it, O'Neal turned things around. None of that's his fault. Like, we were scoring when he was playing bad, but then we played good. We couldn't score. Like, that sucks. Yeah, Gobble leading in plus minus. He's solid, but... Our second line let us down. If you look at where the minuses are coming from, Mata and Ob for the most part. And then you look at our forward core. Black, Nighty, um, Bar well, Butterball was third line, but... Maybe he played a bit of second line. I don't even know. But yeah, that's unacceptable right there. Postnock was a plus three. I don't even know how that even worked. Maybe that was, I don't know. I'm not too sure, but. All right, I'll check the lightning points. Oops. Went too fast. Ernie, fucking 80, 85 Ernie with six goddamn points. Kucherov with four. Radish with four. Strom, this is just their fours. This Peters guy killed. Fucking god damn it. This is the guy who beat us. This is the guy who fucking beat us in overtime. <sighs> sick. That's actually sick. Hadman got injured apparently. This guy steps in, didn't do anything. Where's the Fius? There he is. He did jack shit. <laughs> he got he he fought. Oh my god. He got crushed by Connor. Connor wrecked him. <laughs> Connor must have made him look dead. Ouch. Ouch, man. Connor must have just destroyed this guy. Sickening. But look how I bet look how good Vasilevsky did. Look at that save percentage. Look at that goals against. Just sickening how good Vasilevsky did too. That's just a rough series. Like we just our offense just kept deteriorating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manulin stood no chance. No chance. All right, I'm going to, so I don't have to deal with injuries for the AHL. I'm going to turn that stuff back off. <laughs> He's so savage, he beats infants. <laughs> exactly. Connor the goat, man, beats up infants, eats babies. <sighs> I'm not, yeah, I can leave auto rotate off. Actually, no, I, I can turn that back on because auto-rotate actually doesn't... They actually just play them in the playoffs unless you fuck with it. That's actually probably why that 80, 78 was playing instead of Lukanen was because I turned it off and he just stuck in there. But yeah. Oh, 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 oh no, definitely not. I'm going to actually save it too just in case something dumb happens. So we'll save that after that epic loss. Sucks, man. That felt like the uh, last EASHL game I played did too. <laughs> That's just disheartening, disheartening to go that far and feel like the better team and then lose. Yuck. All right, so we're going to follow along with uh, Providence now. Unless they lost. No, I'm just kidding. They swept. Where are they at? Okay, yeah, there's a sweep. So we're, we're going to follow along with Providence now. Just, just going to, we're not going to go into the sim unless you guys want me to, but I don't think we should. Multiple players from Providence are eligible to dress. Let's see. So, Hedman's in there, this primo guy. 
Who's the multiple players? Let's see. Uh, Mikulowski was decent, but I don't think that was him. Farmer was one. But... They look like they're doing all right, man. Quick sim, yeah, I'll do it. Quick sim, yeah. Not as good defensive. Well, kind of is. It's more spread out. How about that farmer guy? I feel like I had him in there for a reason. Yeah, that's why I had him in there. He's solid defensively, plus he's a uh, top six. I mean, he probably won't get there, but hey. Yeah. We'll throw him back in there. Who was the other guy that they're saying? I don't even know. That looks good. Play Agent Nightingale. <laughs> I am playing him. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep Pouliot in there, though, because Pouliot killed it. Keep him in there for sure. All right, so we're just quick sim it now. There we are. Let's just sim through each series. Hopefully, Providence continues to kick ass. Come on now, Providence. Boris Tarasov, don't care. That's NHL. Big win right there. Two to one victory. Three to nothing victory. Five to nothing victory. Oh, they can't sweep again, but they win in five. Wow. OP goalie, OP offense. <laughs> wow. There we go. <laughs> All right. Third round against the Ice Caps. Let's see. Skyrim. Did I just see fucking <laughs> Skyrim? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. And Nightingale. Uh oh, lose. Oh, lose. Two in a row. Three in a row. Wait. Ah, oh, come on. How do you guys do that to yourselves after such a good... Ugh. Rough one, man. Losing two... If they would have won just one of those. If they would have won just one of those, they could at least forced... Ouch. <laughs> that's a rough way to end it. After dominating to go down like that in a series, that sucks. But hey, there it goes. There it goes. I'll check their stats at least. That's a rough fucking way to go out, though. After seemingly dominating for so long just to go out like that but look at this guys silver lining silver lining postma leading point score point a game seven goals seven assists captain postma plus five three power play goals one game winner shooting percentage of 14 decent at the faceoffs he had to take some 16 hits more takeaways than he has giveaways there we go Silver lining right there. Silver lining. All right, so not bad, not bad. Leach did okay. Nightingale actually did pretty good. Nine points. He jumped up to a 77 too. And those were the main guys. Yeah, Postma indeed had a beast playoff. So there we go. Silver lining for sure was Postma's performance. All right, so... Ugh. Rough. Still rough, man. Still rough. All right, so now to sim up to the draft, I should be able to scout one more place. There we go. And uh, I think we only have one more place to scout. We've done everything. No one's in the rest of the world. Uh, we could do, okay, only 14 guys here as opposed to a bunch there. We can only do, oh, one month. That's close enough for 14 guys. I'll, I'll prefer there instead of the other Canadian League just because you get guys maybe a bit more scouted. Maybe. It's not a guarantee, but it's Maybe. Colorado wins the cup and we didn't even lose to the uh um the Calder Cup winners <laughs> we lost to the losers so Providence whatever still Postma had a great seat great end all right salary cap is now up to 102 million so overall decent series sucks to go out in the first round for Boston but we are we're, we were a young team Let's see what we got. Okay, we got the 11, and that's about it. We can always trade up, but <laughs> Montreal is another first. I don't know if we should trade up. <laughs> we pretty much have everything. I don't know what else we could do. I feel like I'll just be taken away from everyone else if we keep moving up. All right, Vitro what? Vitrano retires. Okay, 33-year-old retiring. <laughs> All right. I guess someone needed to retire, and Vitrano was like, Meh. Trade for the fetus. Well, the fetus beat us, man. The fetus beat us. Uh-oh, JT. Come on, man. Stop making high overalls retire. Patrick Kane was just sitting in free agency, apparently. He finally decided to call it quits. Duchesne. Patches. Panarin. Nyquist, Tatar, Shattenkirk. 
There we are. Silverberg on San Jose, apparently. Victor Hedman calls it quits as well after a nice playoff performance. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right. And there's uh, Roussel. Good riddance. Get the fuck out of here, you trash. Any goalies? Anderson Jones. Kemper. <laughs> All right, so Martin Jones retires at age 37. That makes a bit of sense because, you know, 83 is falling off. Same with Anderson. That bo They both make sense on that one. <laughs> well, we just saw Kane, so you're out of luck right there. All right, draft time. Now the question is, do we move up? I don't think we move up, man. I think we're, maybe we should share some of the wealth. Maybe we should share some of the wealth here with some of the other teams. We'll see what's here. We'll see what's here. All right. Well, a guaranteed elite here. A power four. Don't need that. And it looks drops off a bit. So the, there's a few elites here. I don't know how good they'll be. But we could check out. We could check them out. Let's see how good Pope is. 17. Discipline 75. I don't know. I can't really tell. He could be okay. <laughs> Peterson, I, French. God, get out of here. So I don't even know if I want to move up. I feel like we've moved up so much that I might just want to take some picks here. Like, we have so much goddamn high potential guys. Like, I'll even I'll show you guys. We have just so, so much. So goddamn much. Like, look at all that, man. All skaters. Yeah, maybe not that many, but, you know, enough. Old chick. <laughs> I could just sort by, like, potentials here. Look at that crap. Elite, 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 elite. <laughs> Some of them may not be elite, but I don't know. Who's rated at 11? Voinoff? Well, you don't know if that's actually going to be 11 because it, it might not be. Wiss is an 81, so he should be NHL ready next year for sure. Do what? <laughs> what am I doing? Trading up? I don't even think we can. Do I even want to? Probably not. Fuck off! Montreal keeps wanting to give it their first overalls. I don't even know if I want to take it off of them. Like, why would I want to take this off of them? Uh, I think Horvat should be elite. I don't know about Besser, but Horvat should definitely be elite. What the hell are you guys trying to, get the, trying to make me get the fetus for? Get out of here. Baby rage. <laughs> Oh, the spam's getting up there. Yeah, there you go. Get that spam out of here. All right, well, I could move up, man, but this team keeps getting first overalls, and I feel like I need to give them a good player eventually. Although, yeah. I think I might just take my picks this year, because, like, look what I have. What do I even have? We have... Three firsts. I mean, we, we, we could easily get the fucking first overall again. But do I want that? Do I want another crazy good... Go <laughs> Look how many goddamn firsts we always have. Alright, if I'm going to move up, this is the last one. This is the last one. I might do it. Uh, it's so tempting. It's so tempting. Give me it. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, that's easy. That's hell easy. I don't even move up. I don't even need all those. <laughs> I could probably just do... Those two. <laughs> Come on. Doesn't meet the block. Get out of here. Give me these high picks. Third and there. Another first overall. God damn, AI is so bad. <laughs> Way too much trade value. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> I just did, son. First overall yet again. The most first overall since Edmonton. All right, so I think I probably just let the computer pick in this case. Because <laughs> I don't know who's going to be good. Probably just let the computer 
could have done with a fourth. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like, I just, at this point, it's like, it feels cheesy, you know? <laughs> so I'm just giving him stuff. I'm running a prospect factory. Exactly. <laughs> it's in a, it, it's unethical. But yeah, who do I even go for? Pope or Voinov? Well, Pope's here. It's a power forward. <laughs> Maybe ship off DeVries at some point, but... I also could just let the computer decide. They're usually good at it. The computers are really good at this. So what do you guys think? Computer or me? Hire me to make the franchise mode? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just more than ethical. All right, well... So what do I do? Choose someone or let the fate decide? We got Wiss when we chose, but we don't really have anyone scouted besides this guy. And we don't really know. Computer, that's what I'm thinking. I have no one scouted. I really have no one scouted. So I'm going to let the computer decide here. First overall pick. Computer decides. Masulis. Someone called it. Wow has. Wow has. Good eye. He called it. Let's see how good he is. Let's see how good Masulis is. Watch him be fr like watch him be hella good. Yeah, weaker draft, man. Sixty three. He's taking a while to develop, but that's actually good news because we we kind of need some guys in the bank. But let's see how good the other guys are. Because if we got if the, ho if the computer hosed us, you know, value value, it might just be a weaker year. Probably it's probably just a weaker year, man. To be honest, it feels like because we the last year was insanely strong. Bust get that's not a bust. Look at that. It's just a weaker draft, man. It's just a super weak draft. Yeah, it's a weaker draft, I think. Unless someone pops out at 80, but it's just, yeah, it's a draft. It's, <laughs> shut up about bust. Get out of here. Pope. Let's see how good Pope was. Watch Pope be like an 80. <laughs> what was that team? Fuck, I, I was like New York, right? I don't even know. Yeah, Pope, 64 at 17. He might have been the better choice, to be honest. Yeah, we should have went with Pope. I should have just picked him. Picked the scouted guy. Whatever. Sim pick. Gerby on Arizona. Let's see. Legend. Ouch, Gerby's terrible. <laughs> 60 at 18, low trade value. Let's see Ottawa's pick. Jelena. And then that'll just wrap it up for the checking. I won't need to check anyone else. Pope, yeah, the Pope does shit in the woods. Jelena. Yeah, the, the rest of them were pretty bad. Yeah, it was just a it was just a weaker draft year overall. But the 17-year-old probably would have been slightly better. So Pope might have been better. It could have been a DeVries replacement too, because DeVries not getting much better, you know? And DeVries is a tweener, but hey, a sniper. And they picked a top six. So, sim up to my pick now. Yeah, 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 Voinov, I know. I know, I'm remembering. They want the fetus. Oh, what the hell? Why are you saying Voinov? He's ter he's <laughs> I don't even know what he's going to be. He's just some offensive defenseman in here. <laughs> well, I get, maybe I can get a top six grinder. <laughs> for the fetus <laughs> why got, why not get a top six grinder that i know a bit about but he's trash <laughs> the rest of them are top nines so this guy's at least a top six voinov what vyacheslav voinov some offensive defense and he's probably only top four what is this I'm I'm tempted to let the I'm either gonna pick the grinder or let the computer decide because this is trash. Take Hino. It's a fucking grinder. He's gonna be so bad. It's like a top six grinder, but he's gonna be so bad. Jesus. Tikhanov. Yeah, oh yeah, top six sniper. Actually, yeah, his puck control's pretty good. He might start off at a high overall. Yeah, it's actually looking like he starts off at a high overall. Tikhanov is way better, yeah. Hino is the next Connor. Yeah, we don't need another Connor. We have enough. I'm going for Tikhanov because he's definitely going to be a top six. 
Yeah, definitely the top six. And I want to see how good he is. It looks like his overall should actually be decent. I could be wrong, but his overall should be decent. I'm going to check, though. So, yeah, exact. See, that's what I, yeah. Seven, 73 at 18. Another one of those. That's pretty, his value is really low, but the, yeah. Fetus is better. Get out of here. If I get him, I'm just sitting him. How, how badly you guys want the fetus. <laughs> He's so bad though. I can't even play him anywhere. Actually, I can. Yeah, technically top six, but we're grown guys. Holy fuck, his defensive awareness is crazy. <laughs> his defensive awareness is insane. Artie Amunulin. Okay, so, if I, so let's say if I try to get him. If I try to get him. That'd be silly, man. No, we have like Old Chick. We got Ferio. And we got Gabo. And then we have Ulet still. We're set, man. I don't need defensemen. Fetus not happening. They, I'm not giving him up. I don't have anything to trade for him. Not doing it. Not doing it. Maybe later. Not doing it right now. Gabo was a bust. What do you mean? He's Gabo Gabo. He killed it. Let him plus minus. All right. Let's see what our next pick is. <laughs> God damn the. All right. You guys got to cut it out with the baby rage. I'm gonna I'm gonna mod someone right now, and take care of it. If you guys don't stop the goddamn baby rage. All right, fourth. Wow, a starter in the fourth round. Look at that. And a top six grind. This is a deep draft. Interesting. Okay. Levo, top nine guy guaranteed. Playmaker top nine, no thanks. Nineteen, eh. It's long simming because there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, space because we didn't have a second or a third and it had to go to the fourth. It, that happens. I'm I'm not worried about that. This guy's top nine, sure, but I don't know how good he is. I'm gonna grab this guy because I have him a bit. I know he's gonna be a top nine at least. Although he's 19, I don't care. Top nine, yeah. I figured Levo. Let me see. Uh, at 19, I was hoping to be... Yeah, 66 is not bad, but he's already 19. It's not the greatest. What can you say, though? Check Voin off so you can prove your point. Okay, okay. I'll check him. <laughs> I'll check him. There he is, top six. Yeah, I'm I'm happier with the uh, with the guy who's gonna be a second liner maybe. <laughs> and this guy is just another a uh, freaking trash. <laughs> Get that out of here. Okay, now the fifth round really drops off, but might be able to find something. Top nine. I should just pick that up immediately because it's a top nine. I, I don't care what, what he is. It's a top nine. It's at least increased value. So, yep, just pick. I'm not even second guessing anything. Picking that immediately red, of course, but it's a top nine. So, just keep going here. The, the next picks aren't going to be that great. Yeah, goalie. I will do a goalie. Cause, but I had to grab that. It's a top nine in that area. So, butterfly goalie or hybrid goalie. Fringe or HL starter. Both listed for second round. This guy's higher league interest, so he's also Russian. Russians are good at goalie. Oh, yellow fringe starter in the sixth round. Thanks. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's see. 
Seventh. I don't even know if we have a seventh. We might. No, we don't. Okay, so we didn't have a seventh. That's all good. Zinthi, you heading out? All right, man. Take care. This will be on YouTube, so you can catch up if you need to. Someone give him the time so he can just start here. <laughs> Alrighty. So now we could get into the uh watch doozies. The resign. Oh yeah, I can never I always want to click it from there, but I can't. Can't click it from there. Alright, contracts. That's what I'm thinking of. Now it's gonna be a big year. This is a big year for us because we have a lot of guys coming up. Or not a lot, but it's uh main main guys of the future. Some young guys coming up is what I mean. So Oh no, oh no, that's one more year. That's right. One more year we have those guys coming up. But Knubel, Knubel, he might want some cash. We can see how good this guy's going to get. I actually think he's going to grow more. It actually looks like he's going to make it to second line. So DeVries may become a third liner if we can keep his... But that that cap hit, though, is a bit, you know. If We'll see what I can re-sign him for next year. But there's going to be a weird crossover, I think, with Knubel here. Unless we could stunt him. Knubel is always top six. Trade Dreisaitl? What do you mean? Not yet. We need we need to see who jumps. Then I'll trade Dreisaitl. I'm not trading him quite yet. We need to see who jumps. But this guy wants three years. It's a decent contract. But and yeah, he's not a guy I want to start off any leads on. So three years is okay. Takes him up to one year before he's done growing. We can give him a bridge if needed at that point. So yeah. All right. Let's see. 4.775 times... There we go. Four mil about for three. That's a decent... At this point, four mil is really good for a third liner. Just you have to consider. Cap is 100 million. So almost up everyone by about a million from what they should be getting now. Let Force Baca go? Probably, yeah. We should have guys replacing him. Definitely. And he's not even good. He's not even quite good enough for a third line. And... I mean, if I can get him for one year, but not even at that point. Yeah. Force Baca, I think, is done. Because we're going to have guys jumping up easy. Ha, Leet, even probably Leech, yeah. Yeah, Force Baca is done. We got to save roster slots, too. So good luck in the future, man. Thank you for your service on the Bruins. Some people might lose some morale, but that's for the best. Let's see how Ferio's, if he's going to grow. All right, Ferio might actually grow more. Look at that. Look at that. He might actually grow a bit more. The jumps aren't huge, but just a bit more. Like I said, all I need this guy to get up to is like an 83, maybe 84. Just his defense is a bit of an issue, but he did okay, as I remember. So I'll sign him. Maybe not to a really big deal. I don't know. I, I have no one to line him up with, you know? So maybe actually just one year just to see what we got. I could, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to get him something he wants and not... I can actually, I'd, I'd be, I'd be tempted to give this guy three years as well. Take up until he's 25. Cause I think I'm going to use this guy. And even if that, it's still a low ass deal. And for three years, he's a top six guy. We bump it up. Sure. He might start growing, you know, but three years at this kind of a deal, if he does start growing, will be huge. So three years at about 2.4, I'd say that's really fucking good for a top six at this point. So I'm going to sign him to that. Yeah. That's that's just a really good contract for a top six at this point, especially for someone with his possible capabilities. Hendrix, hmm, I say, oh yeah, I got to sign this guy, no question. He's depth. I would prefer this guy to be depth, and he is going to be depth. This is actually really good, okay? Like, I know, you know, maybe it's like, oh, we want him to grow, but at the same time, dude, look at what he's got. I know he's top six, but defensive stats, he's even got offensive stats. He's not physical, but he's good defensively, and he's good offense offensively, so it's like, He's kind of a jack of all trades back there, and I like that, and I need a guy like that. And I'll actually probably give him three years. It's the same. I'll line some guys up on this these three year deals here, and I think that'll be solid. Yeah, exactly. Hendricks really is the perfect fourth line center. We get him for three years at this. That's beautiful. Again, we're gonna have some three years deals coming, but they're all cheap. So next year we could line up the big big deals, and then once these guys are coming off their three years, maybe we run into cap issues. We have to pick and choose, etc. We'll see. Johansson, I love this guy to help out that AHL team, so I'll, I'll consider it, but it's only going to be a one-year deal. 
Okay, uh, any goalies I need to sign? Yes, Lukanen and Vavalainen. Uh, I don't think Cap's going to be an issue again, so I'll let Vavalainen go. Lukanen can be the backup. Yeah, Vavalainen can go. And Lukanen keep. I like Lukanen. I'll also, only sign him to one year, though. That's all he wants, really. So I don't, I'm not going to do too much math on that. Just sign him to a cheap contract like that. I want Lukanen. We could find a better backup. Then Lukanen could just head down again. So, uh... That's it. And remember, we still got some inflated contracts too. So we, we should not hit huge salary issues even next year. And dry saddle to move that contract would be a bit. So I, I, I'll have to see who jumps if I want to consider trading them. But I kind of like them, you know. All right. Barkov. Good for depth and good for AHL. So yes, yes, Barkov. One year. I gotta stop. I gotta stop signing guys multiple years though. I gotta just do one year for these kind of guys now. If they're if they're over like 22, 23, I gotta only do one year deals because roster slots are gonna be a thing. Yeah, I, I I will be looking for most likely for a better backup in free agency. Yeah, Pul I, oh yeah. Well, he is old. He is already twenty four, so it's unlikely he jumps. But after performance like that, you never know. I'll sign Lucan and just you know to have that option to either be backup or the AHL again. But yeah, uh, Clifford say, all right, Johansson, I'll get back one year again. It's just for that AHL type thing. We have the money for it. So why not Clifford? I say probably not. I could probably let Clifford go at this point. We can find someone better. 24, not good enough defensively. He's okay offensively, but I don't think we need boosters anymore. Not really. We could probably just restock actually on younger guys. So I'm going to let Clifford go as well. This is going to be a time where we let some guys go. Hedman, Josephson. Josephson, okay, but maybe not even depth. Let's see what I got here. Okay. Ouellette might jump up this year. Yeah, Ouellette might jump. So let's see. Hold on. So old chick too. We might have a lot of jumpers here. Some guys down here. A lot of these just kind of weird kind of guys. Exelby was growing a bit, so I might want to sign him because he was growing. His stats are a bit spread though. Maybe Cronwall's done. Okay, Cronwall's done. I can get rid of him. He ain't going anywhere. He wasn't even playing, so I can get rid of Cronwall. We had a, we had a lot of these guys. Remember, so top six Safranov offensive defense and probably not Kavanaugh he could be okay death yeah, he's not grown no fuck that I might just restock on a lot of these guys I might just find a lot like just younger just younger in general because a lot of those guys weren't playing Josephson's okay this is a guy for a one-year deal for sure he's all right but these other guys not so much I will sign X will be this guy I'm not eh. 70 defensive stats look spread out. I could just release him. I'll just release him as well. Yeah. All right, let me advance today. See what I got to work with just to clear some space up. I just want to get, get things settled. Uh, Lukanen rejected. Oh, he's not happy. Yeah, that's my bad for fucking him up. I'll, I'll pay him a bit more. I, I want Lukanen back. It, it's, we, we won't need to worry about it this year. I mean, yeah, I could find a better backup, but I might not also at the same time. I'll give him that instead. I don't need to sign him right now. He's, he, a dry saddle's up next year. He's not up right now. See, he's still got another year. All right. But yeah, I don't know if I'll resign dry sidle next year. It'll all depend on what it looks like this year, and I'll try to maybe plan for that. And if it's unclear, I don't, I don't know. But we'll have to see. Headman, 20, uh, 28. Power four. Not even that great for even depth. Maybe not even good enough to boost some guys up. I think... I think it's time we uh, we turn over a new leaf for some of these older guys who didn't break out. I think it may be time to just get some more. 
Ronick, same thing. Not good enough. 23. Let him go. Get some more of these guys. Let me sort actually just a defenseman because I want to. I want to make sure I at least have enough. Okay, and then one, two, three. Okay. Safranov might not be bad. I could actually sign this guy instead. Yeah, I'll sign Exelby instead. I have to get him to the rookie deal, but that's fine. Sign him instead. Release probably both of these guys and search for better guys in free agency. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I want to free up some space. These guys, you know, just get new blood at this point. Just get new blood. Let's see here. Anyone else? Oh, X will be, but we're already signing him. Anyone else in forwards? Primo. Probably release him. No. Nope. Seeing if I need to sign anyone here. Well, let's see. McLeod. No, he's Canadian. Tikhanov. Yes, Tikhanov. I can sign Tikhanov, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tikhanov, because... Uh, he can, he should be able to play straight out into the AHL. Uh, Levo. Yeah, I pretty much should sh should sign him. Yeah, because he, he, he can play immediately. So sign him as well. Yeah. Needs some younger guys coming through the AHL. This guy, I don't think so. Cause he's, oh shit. Okay, we'll sign him as well then because I might, I don't think, unless he, he might be in the juniors, but I, I want to dictate where he plays if he's not. So sign him to that. McKinnon is Canadian, so he can hold off. Eaton is American. I don't want to sign him though. Even he, he might be juniors and that's not good enough to sign yet anyway. So I'll see if he grows on his own. That's not good enough to sign. Free some space up though for sure. All right. Ready for Connor to become a 90. Indeed. We'll see. I hope he still jumps because I don't want him to sit at a 77. I don't want him to grow from a 36 to a 77 and then just chill there. That would be a bit unfortunate. I'm hoping for a nice jump out of him. Uh, Lukanen still rejected. So I might have to just find someone other than Lukanen. I mean, it doesn't. I can still pay him. I really can. I can really still pay the guy. We're not going to be strapped for cash until next year. And all I'd give him is a one-year deal. Any, I, I, yeah, I need insurance. I need insurance and this guy's insurance. So one, 1. 1.5. That's, that's, yeah. I'll, I'll keep going until I get him. Um, I think that was it, but let me double check everything else. Yeah, I would say probably 83, 84 will be his max unless he, I don't think he's the type of guy to break out, but crazier things have happened. Primo, I'm going to release. Don't need Primo anymore again. 23, still low 70s. Never going to be depth. Let some younger guys come in. Yeah, same on them. Okay, I think that's it. As long as we can get back Lucan in, that'll be it. You know that one guy? I don't think he was signed to us. Hold on. You know that one guy who killed it last year? I don't think he's with us. Hold on. Let me check the goalies again. Maybe he was. No, yeah, he was. Okay, okay. Sorry. For some, I don't know. For some reason, I don't know why. I, for some reason, I thought a flashback to think that was Dumba, like without looking at it and just like only seeing one other goalie. Yeah, anyway. Pouliot's good. I don't think he grows, though. He's already 24. He could, but I doubt it. Uh, yeah, let's advance a day. Okay, we got Lucan in. There you go. <laughs> he only wanted a year, but 1.5 is not bad at all, especially if he's going to be going down or even staying up. It's a great backup contract and something that won't cost us that much with the uh, carryover from being sent down, even having to pay a bit. There we have it. And there we have it. So we're all good. We can go into the free agency here. No major signings. I'm going to say that right now. We don't need major signings. We need our guys to get good. 
we will do prospects. We do need to restock on prospects. So any and all at this point. Any and all prospects. Sorry, I'm standing up trying to stretch. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, Morgan Riley, of course. Some good ones hit free agency this year. McKinnon, Riley. <laughs> Five teams interested in Riley. Yeah, let them let them take them. Let them have it, man. So pretty good free agency for the big ones. But again, we're not that kind of team. We're, we don't need these pieces. We need our guys to get good. So I'm just going to ignore that. Go straight to prospects. Straight to prospects here. Cause yeah, yeah, definitely keep your eyes peeled. Because, uh, ooh, ages. There we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Why the hell is this guy in here? Why the fuck is this guy in here? <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone. <laughs> and he wants a rookie deal too, man. Like that's just filth. Not of the. You have to. You can't pass that up. That's trade value if anything. That's filthy, man. Look at it. Defensive stats are already decent enough. He's great offensively. Wow. Wow, 20 years old, perfect age to line up with some guys. Do it. <laughs> WTF, Ewok, huh? <laughs> you can't believe it? Can't believe your eyes? Where's all the forwards? A lot of D in here. 69, okay. Uh, no. 70 at 20 is okay. And again, we, we eh, playmaker. I'll hold, we'll see what else is there and then I'll go back. Uh, no. Mm, 76 at 21 is not bad. He's, this isn't bad. He's got a really decent shot, actually. His And his defense would should grow pretty evenly. He's a great shot blocker. And it looks like his, if he does get up to the 80s, he's, his defense should at least be around the low 80s. So we could be depth at some point. Holy fuck, sword by age. <laughs> You're totally right. Why have I never done this? Why have I never done this? <laughs> wow. Thank you. I'm very slow, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Why am I not funding this? Okay, Ozens, I think I will sign because we did let go of a couple defensemen. Um, I know he's only 19, but he's already close enough to 70 and only being 19 is good. I can't check his nationality, but it looks good enough. Lear, LVR, what? I'm not seeing what you're seeing yet. LVR. Oh, Luke, L Van Reems, what the hell? Who is this? Yeah, I'll get him. But who the hell is that? Sorry, I thought you were looking, I thought that was, I thought it said LYR as like a last name first. Let me offer this, well, I'll hold off on that one because he's not great. But yeah, LVR, 1971 with the red. That's pretty good. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's solid. Uh, I'll make sure I get him, though. Yeah, bump him up to that, just in case any other team. Not not so much this guy, unless he's mm, two-way forward. I want a higher overall. I'll sign that guy, because he's 19, you know, but I, I would like a higher overall. Take Brewer. Did I see Brewer? Yeah, I was thinking about that, but it's the red bottom six, you know, and he's a playmaker. So I'm not, uh, if, if he was like a top nine, maybe, but I'll hold off on that. I'm holding, let me hold off on Brewer for now. I'll hold off on that. If there's no one else better then yeah. This guy's good. Holy crap. 79 at, Yep. Defensive stats aren't that great, though. Oh, this guy gets his overall from his speed, bit of his shot, and his physical. But it's still good enough for the AHL. Could use another carry. Postma's leaving. Get him. I think he's good. Max value, though. Make sure we get him. Yep, Andrews. 74. Casper, eh, dot bottom six, though. Defensive stats are good, but... Am I a fan of the bottom six? Yeah, the guy right under him. You guys are calling it, but hold off on that because it's not perfect. 
we sign the perfect ones first and then then see what a suave suave's even better than casparitis another sniper though i feel like we have a lot of those and parks they're all really good playmaker could be the future dude future johansson decent defensively parks and suave yeah i see both of them yeah we're gonna sign quite a few here i'll try to sign as much as possible thing about suave is we do have a few snipers but he has a really good shot and yeah he does have a really good shot Antilla. oh yeah fucking Antilla. well he's only got the seventh deep potential but could be decent not a big deal that i don't get him all right i'll definitely sign him because ahl will like him <laughs> la couture a grinder Ooh. oh my fuck oh my fuck oh my fuck oh my fuck jesus christ jesus christ that guy wow wow oh my god immediate signing right there all right let's see how many we got signed one two three four five and six right no just five five are being offered contracts right now so five have been offered contracts medium top six 71 oh but that that's a that's a d guy though right yeah uh, i'm not a fan of that that's okay but eh. we have a few defensemen yeah this guy's that's filthy man and look and his defensive stats are really good too and his discipline solid he's just killer green hl 2d oh, okay which do you remember his name oh godet is that him no you said he was what what overall did you say it was oh i can't remember offensive defenseman there's a few of them right or he said no you said 19 hold on you said 19 so he's obviously up here okay uh schumacher's he's only 68 is there someone else i think that was him well he's 68 you know he could yeah he should yeah, he could get up there defensive defenseman thing i'm worried about those the roster slots you know yeah uh, that's what i'm thinking i don't know if he'll grow you know there's a lot of these guys these guys are kind of a dime a dozen i've only seen a few get to the like the 82s and i'd kind of rather give it to the and he's you know he's not quite if he doesn't jump then i don't even use him if he doesn't get the 70 overall so if he doesn't jump then i'm fucked so yeah there's that and i'm kind of looking we we have a lot of guys already signed well it, it, pending at least so and a lot of these guys are really fucking good yeah, I think I, I chose Parks ahead of Suave because he's the playmaker. We I feel like we have a lot of snipers. We just drafted another one too. And a lot of like the top nine snipers as well. So we might have released some, sure. But see, what I like about this guy is he's the defensive defenseman and he'll be a perfect depth guy. He's listed to be 7th D. He probably, he might get better. He might break out, but you know, he's a perfect kind of depth guy. Um, Parks, you know, maybe the Johansson replacement on the AHL. Uh, Le Couture, obviously, obviously a fourth, li fourth liner immediately and uh was there someone else that was it huh yeah but go look at goalies yeah i'm gonna take uh <laughs> another one a lot of good fucking defensemen horkoff did i not sign horkoff pretty sure i did i not offer him maybe i didn't holy shit i didn't where was he horkoff i'm passing him yeah i know vandermeer i saw that i was i was looking at him but i was looking at for this horkoff guy or is that someone i drafted yeah vandermeer's that's too insane to pass up again offensive defenseman really good for the ahl just to boost him up 
get him there. No other teams are interested. I'll just pack it up a little bit. Horkoff was offered. Okay, good. I was, I was looking. At, yeah, he was. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's the main things I'm going to do. I'm going to take one look. I'm going to take a look at the goalies and see if I can get one. But I think that should do about it. And that should also fill up our roster again, pretty much. Um, let me sort by overalls because we don't. We need a backup instead of anything else. Fitzpatrick, but he's a starter. Domingue is not that great. And Jari, uh, this is these are yeah. If Fitzpatrick, yeah, he's listed to be starter. So there's no there's no there's no real use in that because he'll just end up losing morale. And these other guys are pretty much as good as what we have. Yeah. So no one really for the goalies. Maybe pot a potential guy, but I don't even think that was it. I don't even think there's anyone good potential wise. Nope. Well, this guy is actually okay. Red fringe starter, 77 at 21. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. He's the only one. I could yeah, we need extra goalie, I guess. Unfortunately, I have to sign him for the full three years, but it's all right. I don't, I don't necessarily need him. Need him, so I'll only give him that. So that will do it. And that should be all of our free agency stuff. Now we should get all of them. And uh, go back to the all skaters here. Sort by the ages. Just in case we run out of space and we want to try to get someone else. I'll try to remember some of these names here. So T uh, LVR. We'll remember him. LVR. Andrews. I don't know how. If The thing is if we miss out on Andrews then it will fuck us. But yeah. Parks. Until uh La, uh, La Couture. I think we'll be fine. I think we nailed up the roster slots pretty well. Um, but hold on. I'm going to check. Because we, we went we went after about five of those dudes. Five skaters and like one goalie. Right? Uh, no, we should have space. Yeah, we easily have space. Yeah, we have space. Cool. Yeah. I was just double checking that roster space. So yeah, we'll advance a few days. I have to advance a few days, actually, because it doesn't just... Uh, it's a regular free agency here. So we got to advance it four days, usually. All right, we got Horkoff. That's the big one, man. Bordering on being too low financially. Fuck off, dude. We offered you the max. Andrew's good. Antonio. Vandermeer. La Couture. All right, those are the big ones. Parks is okay. LVR. Okay, until a rejected. So that's that's the seventh D. That guy wasn't the hugest thing. But yeah, our roster is indeed full now. We could trade someone, if but yeah, it's it's the extra goalie slot. It's too many skaters, but still have goalie slots, and that that's what did us in. But we could still get him again if we want to. He was okay, but the thing is, we trade we have to trade someone to do that. Uh, but that again, that guy wasn't the biggest deal. That's just some seventh D man. Let me see here. Let me just double check if I was right. Because it should be that. It should be just the goalie slots. So, it, that's... It, like I said, it's only... Yeah, it's, it's the one goalie slot. I could get the guy, but I have to trade some stuff. If there's stuff I could trade, then I would. We're going to have a lot of guys coming up. I don't even think I need them, really, guys. I don't think I need them. <laughs> I think we're fine. I think we're just fine. Yeah. Trey Josephson. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. True, true, true. He's done. He's he's capped too, and he's fucked. So Josephson. Yeah, let me ship that guy off. Trade Zo trade Exelby. The thing about Exelby is the red. I want to see what the red does with Exelby. Josephson is done. He's he's yellow top four, 23, still only 7 8. He's he's completely done. Like we know that. The only problem is some people are gonna be pissed I signed him to trade him. Trade Mata away away, really? I would wait to trade Mata. I don't need to I don't, it's not a dire need to trade Mata. I'll wait on Mata. But to get this guy, we would have to trade someone. But Mata, it's that's not a guy you trade until you see what you got. Um that's just my feeling on it. Let me see here. All right. Let's see, let's hork off. I like how this guy's trade value is low, but he's fucking good. 
Yeah, Josephson. He's still got a decent amount of value on him too. So he's the best one to go. Think about it. Yeah, the X will be doesn't have much value. And he is red, sure, but he's he's younger. So w this is the youth movement that we need. So we'll tr yeah, Josephson. We'll ship him off. See if anyone wants him. Probably not. So we'll just have to grab some picks, basically, from people who are giving him. So let's see what we can get. Maybe a second. That's a bit much, but I could pick farm for it. Yeah. I could pick farm for this, man. Oh, that's too much. Let's try just the seven. Josephson in the seven for a second. Yep. There we go. Easy. I'll take that <laughs> any day, man. Any day. That's easy trade to make. So we could do that, and then we could sign on Tilla. And then we could pick and choose who starts and stuff in the in the AHL team. And again, some of these guys are just going to be players in the bank that even if they don't play this year, that shouldn't hurt them too much. And they could just be spot fillers, if anything. Where was that guy? Oops. He might have been taken, to be honest, but I hope he wasn't. I can't remember if someone else had their eyes on him. No, that's not him. Yeah. Until there he is. Yeah, no, no, still no one interested in him. So again, don't have to offer him the full amount. There he is. And that should do it. Then we have a pretty much a full roster. There it is, bordering on being. What is up with these guys and their egos telling me I'm bordering on being too low financially? Get out of here. So before I do anything else, time to save because I don't want it to fuck and crash before I sim. So we'll save it. 2027, 10, 10 years, man. This, this rebuild has actually been going on for about... I'd say almost six years. I think I did like four or five years of win now with Bruins. We won a cup. I won it with like Marshan and like some of the other guys. And then I started shipping them off slowly. And it was a very gradual rebuild. The kind of thing that we're almost doing with uh, saving, you know, Simmons and Philly. Get Riley for a year. You mean Morgan Riley? Locker room chemistry will reset. Don't worry, Cody. I can't get Morgan Riley. He's, he's out. <laughs> I could afford them, but it takes away space from people. Yeah, don't the locker room chemistry will reset. It's it always does that when you lose and it's like and you're out here. It's always pretty bad, especially when you start trading and stuff, releasing guys and everything. All right, so we're just going to get up to the next year. Wait, what do you mean? Sim to the next season faster. Oh, okay. I can use the, the calendar's faster, really. Hmm. I'll have to test that. It's 10 times quicker. Whoopsies. All right, well, too late, but I'll I'll start it now, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how far that got us. From about, I don't know. I can't even stop it. Ah. I bet it's going to say like beginning of the season. Nope, it's still it. The stopping takes a while, that's for sure. Sometime up September, yeah, okay. And then it should reset right there. No room for fetus. Connor's full anyway. He doesn't want to eat a fetus. <laughs> All right. Preseason will be up next. And we could get... Okay, now's the chance. Now's the time to check out the jumps. And I'm just going to do that in contracts first. Let's see the big jumps. Mod had declined a bit, which is... Uh, Makes a bit of sense. 
All right, Johansson. Ferio, 83. Yeah, that's good. Horkoff, 86. Yep. Yeah, jumped up to an 86. Top four. Basically a Commodore right here. <laughs> In the system. Wiss is an 83, so a bit gradual growth for him over one year, but he's NHL ready, third line, so throw him in, and he should keep jumping up, 19. NHL ready, perfect. This Masulis guy, he's going to take a while. Le Holy crap, Leech. Leech is third line. We're going to have a lot of stuff here. Jesus. Yeah, a lot of guys jumped, man. A lot of guys jumped. Let me just sort by potentials here so I can get that all the way. Barball didn't. DeVry, yeah, we knew DeVries went. Ooh, 90 actually stuck around the same overall, which is a bit interesting. But he's still really good. Just kind of interesting he stuck around that same overall. Very interesting. Same with Butterball, too. That kind of sucks because he's not listed to be second line. He can still grow, but... Ugh. Hendricks... Didn't we just get this guy to that low-ass contract? Yeah. <laughs> and he jumped up still. I didn't think he would jump up, but wow. Knubel, still third. We got a lot of third liners here. We might have to... Postma? No, still minor. Still a minor score. So he's not quite ready for the NHL. Postma still not ready. He's a slow grower, that's for sure. But... Yeah, this year, this year is last year, man. Then he gets the big money. He's just waiting for his big contract to play good, huh? Serious Black staying the same. Yeah, I figured. Oh, uh, Andrew's guy jumped up to an 80. The guy we signed. Not bad. Let's go back to the system. Old chick's an 80. Top six. So he can jump onto the NHL team now. And I'll play him there because I want him to get better. Ob is an... Holy crap. Jesus, man. Yeah, Gobble might be getting phased out for sure. Gobble, Gobble getting phased out, I think. Bogosian. Did we just sign that? No, I th okay. This guy's been chilling. He's decent. Tikhanov. Ulet, yeah, 82. <laughs> Shit, dude. We're going to have a lot of stuff here. O'Neal's stuck at an 87. So he might be done at 87 here. Yeah, I will watch Post. Yeah, I got to watch Postma carefully because he will jump up to a depth at any time or even higher. Yeah, he uh, he's he feels like that kind of a player for sure. But man, we have a lot to do here. A lot to figure out. Maybe some trades need to happen too, but there's a lot to figure out because we have a lot of guys listed to be third line. And that means someone's got to go or someone's got to play above or something. So let me see here. Let me just, oops, oops, oops. What did I just do? Reset the defaults? I don't know if that, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. We got 19 guys here. Ob obviously up. Wiss up. That guy up. I got to send some guys down. Johansson, Barkov, Gabo. Yeah, that's got to happen. Andrews probably too. Andrews and Postma down. Andrews and Postma down. Uh-oh. Oh, under the player limit. No wonder. Herp derp. Leech up. Yep. Ooh, under the salary cap. Yikes. Okay. Well, oh, look at Chur. That's right. He can, he can come up too. Yeah. Those two should make it work there. Okay. I might have to sign someone just for the money. Ooh. Yeah, there's some guys definitely got to make... We got to make some trades probably at the beginning of the year right here. Yeah, because if you look at it, man... Fer what the fuck is Ferio listed top four for? You're not a top four player, bud. At all. Ulchik's got to come up. Fucking Ferio. You're not a top four, dude. At all. I, uh, fuck you, Ferio. I'm probably just going to let Ferio go at this point. That's some bullshit. You're not a top four. Get out of here. Uh, 
Uh, he's not that good offensively. <laughs> 85 and 84. He's really not. <laughs> Which is why it surprises me that he's listed as top four. He shouldn't be. Don't look at his draft position either. <laughs> like, Ouellette's better than him fucking defensively, you know? Or offensively. Ouellette's way better than the guy. Shit, man. So, let's see. If we got Richie, Jones, probably can... Well... Ob, I might want to start playing him above his role. It depends. So, if we got one, two, three, four... We still got to bring up Old Chick. Old Chick's got to be up here for sure, obviously. Gabo don't matter anymore. So let me just bring him up and I'll see who can stay and who can go. Speed can affect. Oh, is that Ferio you're talking about? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> the skating's crazy high up there. Like, Ulet's a good skater, but you can, you can tell by the rest of his stats. He's still a great player. Like, what really jacks up Ferio? It's like. His his shot's good. Don't get me wrong. His shot's great. Ulet's shot isn't as good, but Ulet's way better offensively. And defensively, not as good, but he should grow in the same kind of way. Maybe even more evenly. Damn, man. Because I want Olchik. I want Ulet. Righty. Lefty. Fucking perfect. Ferio. So, all right. Mata's got to go. I could, okay, so here's what I'm thinking for the lines. Richie and Ob, maybe Jones and Horkoff, and then Ouellette and Olchik ship off Ferio and Mata. That's what I'm thinking, because Ferio, he might still get better, but he's still got really good value, and his value is so freaking high right now that I might just want to ship him off, because I, like, these green top sixes, he's 23. This guy's going to turn into a Merkley. But not as good as Merkley was. He doesn't. He doesn't get to have the production. So I'd rather fucking give it to someone like Ouellette, who, if he stays at top six, is gonna be the Merkley, <laughs> way better Merkley. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Mata and Ferio are trade bait, and then that's our defensive core. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. That's what. That's my logic. You guys could disagree, but that's my logic. Ferio, while he's on a really good deal. It's he's listed as top four. If he fucking starts losing morale, I'm gonna, it's gonna suck. Older goalie with high cap. Yeah, the thing about Mata is like he has ten fucking mil. So like I have to sign someone else anyway. You know, I could retain salary. It's only one year left. I could always retain. That helps, but I'll have to I'll have to sign a garbage player for a hell of amount of money before I make that move. That's just what's gonna happen. Yeah, Mata, yeah, Mata definitely needs to go, but we need to replace that cap. So I'll have to sign a garbage guy for a really shitty amount. But yeah, what do you guys what do you guys think about my line thoughts? Richie Ob, even though he grew in his role, maybe playing one role above in his contract year. See if we could break him out, and then Jones, Horkoff, and then Ulet Olchik, because those are our growers. Yeah, I know. Forward wise might have to trade a third line guy. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this sorted. That's what I'm thinking. Mata and Ferio are trade. And we can get a shit ton back from. And I might actually bank those picks. Like not even get picks from this next year. Like a couple years down the road. Just to spread out more growth. So that that's what I'm thinking. Like not even for the next year. The year after that, get more picks. That's what I'm looking at. So forward core is gonna look like Dreisaitl, uh, DeVries can spot fill. I wanted 90 to grow, man. He didn't grow. That's a bit unfortunate, but it's a good second liner. Again, Barball is not listed to be second liner, so we're fucked there. But DeVries can be first. Pasternak can be first. Then Black, 90, Barball, second line. Knubel, Leach, oh fuck, our third line. He Heiskanen, fourth line. Okay, so he's not growing. Uh, Heiskanen can be fourth line. Hendricks also fourth line. So there we go, actually. Then look at Chur's fourth line. So we're actually fucking set. Yeah, we're actually set, guys. Oh, fuck, Connor. <laughs> I forgot about Connor. Sorry, guys. I forgot about Connor. 
Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Connor, he's like, what the fuck did you say? Heiskanen, I like his defense. Hendricks, I like his defense more and his offense more. Why is Heiskanen so high overall? I think Heiskanen's the guy, man. I think Heiskanen's the guy to ship off. As good as he's been, not he's just not there. His discipline's low too, you know? Hendricks is that. He's so much better uh, defensively. Heiskanen gets boosted by his shot and his skating while Hendricks is all about I don't know he's just, just better fucking better <laughs> ugh fucking oh my goodness my boxers are sticking to my ass and it hurts I had to stand up <laughs> okay yeah, this is going to be tough. A few trades, that's what I'm thinking. Heiskanen, Mata, and Ferio. Ferio is, again, he's he's not good enough to be the Merkley that we needed and that we had in uh, in Montreal. He's, he's just, I don't foresee him doing that. Swamp ass, there you go. Antonio and Pouliot, that's going to be filth. Who the fuck's this Antonio? Oh, this guy just signed. Yeah. I like how he's the starter and Puglia's supposed to be the backup after that fucking amazing run he had. Whatever. <laughs> they could trade evenly. Trade fries too. The thing about trading fries is I don't want to do that yet because he's useful right now. I will. He will be the guy. He will go in a couple years. Um, probably. But I, I don't have anyone to replace him. He's... He, that's Postma. That's Postma's job. Postma's got to take his fucking spot. And then DeFries goes. So once Postma is ready, Fries is out of here, most likely. I like Nightingale is up to a 79 at 21. His defensive stats aren't the greatest, but he's good enough offensively. We'll see if he can become depth down the road. But yeah, we got some trades to make right now. Definitely got some trades to make. But I mean, other than that, fuck, dude. Look, look at what we have to work with. We're almost completely set up. We're going to have Dreisaitl, most likely Pasternak, and DeVries. That'll be the first line. And that's gritty. And then second line, probably Black, Nighty, Butterball. Third line, Knuba, Leach, and Wiss. And then fourth line, Hendricks, um, uh, La Couture, and Connor. And that is filth, man. That is fucking filth. I don't think I need a first line. I mean, I might for the playoffs. You're right. To become a contender. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe for the fries. Yeah, maybe his time's come. I want him to have another breakout year. So maybe a rental. Crosby's gone, man. Crosby's long gone by this point, I think. You got to consider 2017. How old is he? 30? It's now 10 years after. He's gone, man. Long gone. So, yeah, I think there's a couple things we need. I want to try Lucan in as a backup, though, I think, just to start off, but gather cap in other ways. Horvat, maybe. Horvat, maybe. Maybe Horvat. All right, well, first thing, I'm going to start setting him up how I want it right now, just so we have that in mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see. So it's dry sidle. Poster knocking fries, right? Yeah. Then it's black, nighty, butterball. High skin in is scratched. And F Hendrix is fourth line, I think. Yeah, yeah, because Wiss was going in here. Yet Wiss, and then I need another winger. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's right. Leech, shit. I think Leech is a righty as well. We got a lot of righties now. Fuck. We overdid it on the righties. <laughs> At one point, we all, all we had were lefties. 
but we don't. Connor. Yep, and then La Couture. Yep, that's good. Hendricks is, yeah, he's the, I know he's listed to be third line, but if I give this guy PK time, which he fucking deserves, I don't think he'll drop. I think this guy becomes the next, uh, Dano. <laughs> he's so good. All right, maybe even a better on than you going way back to Detroit. Best fourth liner. We'll have to see. All right. You know, Wiss was actually a right winger to start off, if you remember. And his face-offs haven't really improved. So maybe Leach back to his center since he's got 78 face-offs. And Wiss back to the right wing side. Do it. Consider that because his face-offs didn't fucking get better. Yeah, that fourth line is so filthy, man. Connor's off defensive awareness is still bad, but, you know. <laughs> Body checking, 99. Fighting skill, 99. Strength, 90. Dude, his aggressive list got lower. Wasn't his aggressiveness at like 77 and it got lower? He doesn't. He needs a fucking hit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at his skating. Oh, never mind. That's his endurance. Dude, his... Wait, his speed is 99. Fucking Connor's speed is 99. He can't accelerate for shit, but once he gets, once he gets going, he's got 99 speed and 99 balance and 89 endurance. <laughs> Takes him a shit. <laughs> that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Trevor Connor. That's fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> his poise is trash, and his discipline's bad, too. La Couture. So, yeah, dude, we have... His defensive stats are great, too. Michel La Couture. Michel, don't interrupt me during private time. So, Mata scratch, because, yeah. Ferio scratch, because, yeah. Okay. What was I doing? Hold on. That's right. Over there. Ob. Ramming speed. Exactly. Yeah. Ramming speed. Oulette. And old chick. Yeah. These lines are going to take a while. This is a huge overhaul we got. It's a huge overhaul, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Horkoff might actually take over Ob if Ob doesn't grow, but he's still only 20, you know? <laughs> God damn. Richie's the veteran back there on the blue line. Now. Well, Caleb Jones, but you know, the veteran Bruin is Richie at 25. <laughs> Everyone else is 20, 20. Oh my God, our defensive core in the future. Look at it. It's, it's shaping up like Jesus. So that's our offense. I really wish you could exit with just, just saving like that so I can just make some trades and then fuck with it. But you can't. I have to do everything, so that's fine. Uh, I'll keep probably keep Butterball on the top power play line since he's so good. I need a sniper there, though. So maybe Nighty. Does he has a, yeah, he's a pretty good shot. Oh, fuck, yeah, he has a good shot. Well, not so much his wrist shot, but what else are you going to put up there? Yeah, it's better than Black, so let's go with that. Nighty. Righty. Righty. That's tough. Can anyone takes face offs? Nope. <laughs> Only dry side or really. Alright. And you know what? I'll put Horkoff on this line, because Horkoff, I remember, had really good offensive stats. Sub so Horkoff in there. He's down here too, I know, but we'll get him out of there a sec. This guy I'll probably take Jones off the power play because he's bad. Like, his awareness is good, but everything else, nah. Neither is his, though. Ob, yes. Change in current line. May Could maybe put a forward here if, if need comes, but Hendrix, no, not you. I mean, you're okay, don't get me wrong, but... Pasternak, Black. Leech? Probably Wiss. Maybe Wiss. Hendricks, it makes sense for the stat-wise, and then he wouldn't not grow, but... Huh. 
Knubel is no Knubel doesn't have the greatest offensive stats. He's a penalty killer. I kind of almost want to get Wiss better. Yeah, I gotta put Wiss in there. He might not succeed at first, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, Wiss for sure. I just want to get him better. And we could always put someone on the point. You know, we could put uh, Hendricks on the point, and he could also p kill penalties. We're gonna take a Wiss on the PP. <laughs> take a whiss on the pp man i don't want to put i'll put old chick on penalty he's not really an offensive guy i'll put him on the pk though for sure oh wait oulette hold on oulette yeah fuck yeah we actually don't have room for a uh yeah don't actually have room for another forward unless we take off poster knock His shot and speed. What about Oulette, though, man? And Ah, oh, like, we have so... Yeah, I know, we have so much everywhere. Maybe remove Ob. Is he not good enough offensively? Connor's on the point, goddamn. Yo, but he's just gonna take penalties. Like, his discipline's so bad. He's just gonna take penalties out there. <laughs> um, dry saddle Barra ball, oh, man. Let's see. I got to fix all of this. Oh, this is still the power play. So one times. Well, maybe dry saddle bar ball. I got to keep DeVries off there though, for sure. Yeah. 10 penalty minutes. Oh yeah. True. The playoffs, but regular season, man, regular season. Yeah, that playoffs is fine because he just fought a couple times. He remained disciplined in the playoffs, but regular season, he had a hundred. He had a crazy amount of regular season. Look, how much do you have regular season? Yeah, fucking one hundred thirty-six. <laughs> yeah, he was like he was the second highest penalty minutes in the regular season. So I'm not worried about him in the playoffs. He he keeps he keeps his head in the playoffs, but. Putting a guy like that on the power play doesn't, doesn't feel too smart to me. I'll see, though. Jones can't go on the power play ever. He's just bad. Oh, Horkoff stays over there. Oh, wait. Yeah, we had him up here. for Yeah, that's right. That's what we did. Oh, what? No, no, no. Fuck. <laughs> Horkoff, not that guy. There we go. Jones is off completely. Oulette. Yeah, Oulette and Ob. Oh, that's, is that what the pair is on the other one? Shit. Yeah, Oulette and Ob. <laughs> Still hyphen up Connor. Hmm... Four man. I'll keep Wiss off the four man. Maybe go black and ninety or Baraball or black and Baraball or ninety and Baraball, something like that. I remember Baraball killed it, but he's getting top power play time still. So, so is ninety on the other hand. So maybe black and someone else. Oulette, because he's freaking awesome. Look at his offensive stats. That's why. Super good. Plus, he's got a hell of a shot. All right. Uh, I could go with a weird form. No, nah, Leech isn't good enough. It should be probably Black and Baraball, because I feel like... Well, no, the thing about Black is almost like... Hmm. Butterball's great. I need a face-off taker, though. Which none of them really are. <laughs> Ninety offense. Oh, I wonder who has ninety defensive awareness. Is that the fetus? Get out of here. 
give it to Wiss. Yeah, I could, but ah. that doesn't feel great putting him there because he's not great yet. But, ah, he can he can get there. I could put him with like someone older, like Pasta. Nah, he doesn't have a good shot, so I need. I could Knubel did good, but not good enough. I could give no Devries is trash. Oh, 90. Yeah, 90 is a hell of a shot. So let's try that. I don't know. Someone's got to finish. We'll try that out. That's a bit weird, but we'll try it. All right, PK is going to be interesting, though. So first line, Hendricks, no question. Hendricks got to go on the first line. I don't want him to drop. So Hendricks, probably with Leach. No, no, uh, uh, Knubel. Yeah, Hendricks and Knubel. Dry side on Nah. Uh, you know who else who who can be here is Lockature. Yeah, Lockature could be the second with who else? Leech? No, nah, Leech isn't quite good enough. Maybe I could double do yeah, Wiss actually could do PK as well. Cause he's looking like also not oh her night nah. I don't know. Wiss could do it. Help him grow, maybe. But he's young, you know. Good discipline, though. I feel like we are playing Wiss quite a bit. But it might be good for him. Lockature for sure. Like, that's he's, he's good. I could go with Wiss. I have, yeah, I have Hendricks there. Don't worry. Leech, I would, I almost want to give it to Leech, but he's not quite good enough, like defensively. I, I I'm favoring, I'm favoring Wiss, man. Yeah, I, I fucking, he's just good. Why not give it to him? He's good enough. So Richie, yeah, definitely Richie for PK. Definitely Jones for PK. Horkoff, probably not. No, not Horkoff. So Horkoff out of there. We'll send him down here for now. I want to get the pairings. We'll see who's good defensively. Ouellette, not really. It might have to... Olchik, yeah, Olchik, Olchik, Olchik. He's got to get PK time. Maybe on the first line with... Jones has got to be first line because Richie's also getting other other special teams time, like uh, power play and stuff. And uh, what's-his-name is not, so I got to put Jones up there. Plus, he's hella good. Olchik, he can help out Olchik. Horkoff can kind of do it, but... Ob, that's right, Ob. Yeah, Ob, there we go. That's what I'm looking for, Ob. He could do the second, yeah, because he's already getting power play time a bit, I think. I keep doing the wrong thing. Yeah, Ob's getting a bit of power play time, not max, so he could he could work out there. Good, good, good. Yeah, that'll work. So Jones, old chick, Richie, and Ob. And then for the centers, I'll probably go Hendrix. Hmm... I don't want to do Wiss on the three, man. I could do Dry. Dry can work there. But Hendrix for sure. Yeah, Hendrix for sure in there. Maybe Dry. Maybe hang out with... Maybe keep Dry in there. Yeah, maybe keep Dry in there. Where's Old Chick? There's Old Chick. And then Richie and Ob. Yep. There we go. Three man extras. Okay, let's sort out the extras here. Let's see what we could take from. I might. I'm kind of phasing out DeVries in almost every way, but he's getting first line time. Barball and Drysidle may actually be perfect for that. Hendricks and Dry? What? Kinda. Maybe, yeah. Kinda. Yeah, but not in the top. I'll give him... I don't want to put him on the top one. Not not the top one. He puts him here with 90. Which is alright. I got so many guys to use pretty much everywhere. Black, yeah, probably. Leech, I think I got it. No, Leech isn't... Yeah, Leech is kind of weird. Wisp prop. Eh. If I want to get him better, yes, but. Who am I missing? 90. Posternock. I'll be I could leave off Posternock. Although he is the captain. Our four I, I feel like our four man's gonna be a bit weird. God damn, I keep doing the wrong trigger. 
Four four on four use couture cut, le couture. Four v four? What do you mean? Are you talking about the four man penalty kill, I hope? <laughs> yeah, the freaking uh, <laughs> great new meme. Um, what was the lines? Yeah, Jones and Horkoff. That's right. Let me get the defensive pairing set before I uh torture myself over the four man too much. All right. Uh, <laughs> have fun fishing, Shredder. Have a good one, man. Enjoy. Catch, catch a big one. Yeah, I'm going to be wrapping this up pretty quick. Probably after I get the lines done. I'm getting tired. It's almost three here. Yeah, I feel like that second one, though. Hendricks and Knighty could work. Yeah. That, I'm, yeah. All we're really losing out on is DeVries and Black, which... While black is good, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's just the four on four lines. That doesn't happen too much, as much as the three on three at least. So three on three is where it's gonna matter more. Dry sidle, I could even go crazy with it, like do wisp, but probably not. I can keep Hendricks in there. I don't want to go wisp for the for the overtime, do I? I feel not black. I gotta go black. Black's the more experienced one in there, and he can take a couple face offs. Not the best, but. It's okay. Hendricks probably too. Hendricks is just so damn good offensively. He doesn't have a shot, but <laughs> he's good. Good. There you are. And then old chick. And the other guy. Ooh, let's. There we go. Those lines took for fucking ever. <laughs> and we still got trades to make, too. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, we got to ship some guys out. And I'll probably... Oh, man. Let me see what it does with best lines here. Postma? Yeah, right. Postma on the second line. Fuck off. Donovan threw up. Oh, this guy, huh? Yeah. I don't want to put him like a high roll yet. He can do third line for now. You got to get some guys to cut carry him though. Nightingale and Andrews can carry him. Yeah. I don't want to give him no second line, really. I don't think so. All right. See you later, Cody. I'm going to be ending this pretty quick too. Dixon stayed at 81. Was he supposed to jump? <laughs> <sighs> Gabo, Antilla, Vandermeer. The Pope shits in the woods. Am I missing anyone? X will be, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will uh yeah. I we got some trades to make, but I'll I'll try to remember the trades and I'll finish the AHL lines too, but I am very tired as well. Everyone else seems to be uh getting off as well. Oh, you're staying? <laughs> stream lag. Oh fuck, stream lag. Shit. Uh, let's hopefully it goes back. No, it's still it's still spinning. Okay. Oh, you're good now, but I'm not. That's weird. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of back. It's catching up. It's catching up. Okay. No, it's okay. It's going really slow. Okay. I'm just, yeah, I got to quit it.